So we have uh, Lou's famous Rob versus Chironix's Daisy. Rob! And we're going to game one. Three, two, one, so we're starting on Town City for a start, but Lou's going to start straight away with that burner boost, making sure to uh, make it. And already he's applying such pressure to, to Chironix that he's trying to not let him in. He loves doing that burner boost, but Kyrex is going to make a start with this turn of thing. Not going to find anything off of it as uh, Lou yeah, retreats to the ledge. And just like that, Lou's got at 80%. I, I'm speechless at that one. <laughs> Four deck kills so early. Peach has ridiculous. Well, Daisy has ridiculous combo and kill power. Uh, Lou's practically pay playing at a deficit now. So what? Ooh. Leaving the gyro there to wait for that roll in, but Kyronix doesn't fool for it. Ooh. Setting up that turnip, trying to cover Lou recovering. Lou's struggling to get back on stage. I, I think, like, chances are that perhaps this uh, first stock has routed him quite a bit. He's not being nearly as aggressive as he was before that stock was taken. He's probably uh, making sure not to make any mistakes. Ooh, Kyronix's air dodge is just out of the way of that up smash. But Lou needs to take this stock quite quickly because if Daisy gets another combo off, he's going to be at quite the deficit. But he gets that, that the Robo Lariat, boys. He gets the Robo Lariat, takes a takes a first stock with a, with an 89% deficit. And now here he is popping off with this combo, 57%. And just like that, Lou's just like applying pressure just as he was before. I think it's, it's a very noticeable difference between like how aggressive he was compared to that. Bates out, Bates out the, <laughs> Bates out the, the, the counter there just to punish. I've n I don't watch <laughs> lose VOD so as much, but seeing this burn of boost consistency is, is actually really impressive to me. It's incredible to see that Lou suddenly has a lead just like this. Like in the time that Lou took two stocks for well, I say two stocks. He took a whole stock from uh, Chironix, and Chironix has taken forty percent off of him in that time, and already Lou's at sixty percent. Taken 60% of Chironix. Oh, that bear's gonna come out just before Luke can get that back air in. 164, Kairos is really searching for this kill. Will he be able to get off of this? Yes, he will. Back throw is going to do it with Daisy. But back it, but burner boost. Back air is gonna take the first game in the pressure's favor. <laughs> All right. So Kyronix is going to make a switch to Lucina. Probably wasn't happy with the way the uh, Lucretio turned around that game. But he's just going to nair him over and over again. 30 percent to show for. I think Kyronix is probably going to play the game of stay away from me using the sword. Oh. Oh, Lucretia is going to follow him down. Reads the way he... Reads the way he comes down for it. Oh. 
That burn of Rooster's back head wasn't exactly where he wanted him to be, though. He's still got a solid lead, though. Oh, goes like that. Ridiculous. He reads that roll in straight away, gets the up smash, and secures the kill. Lucretia was only on 68%. Chironix is quite a way to go. The only way Chironix is going to take an early, like, a uh, relatively early stock right now is with a really good red forward smash, but Lucretia just isn't giving it to him at the moment. Lucretia is just, just being aggressive. He's making... Going to back throw. Oh, that up B. The credit's going to miss the tech. But he's still got a solid 80% on Chironix. And he can go down deep. Deep to make sure that... Good coverage there. He uses the laser and the gyro to make sure that... We'll try to try to pressure Chironix into you know, making a choice no matter which one. He has to deal with something. Let's go shield. Or is it shield code? One or the other. And again, Kyronix finds himself in a situation where he's a whole stop down away from Lucretio. He's going to have to make something big. That was pretty good. Lu Lucretio threw the gyro, bounced up, and he caught it again. Just because he could. Kyronix somehow get doing the regular get up with gyro and not being completely obliterated for it. Well, Lucretio was looking for him to fast forward and straight onto him. Gets that. Gets that. Ooh, coming down with that neutral air, gonna get, gonna get that laser in. Lucretia was to end it. He was looking for the end with that back air there. I love how bold Lucretia is playing right now. I think like he has so much room to play, he's able to just literally just go all in. He's going, he's literally holding, he's practically holding forward and pushing gear sometimes. And like that up smash is going to take second game. This time, Kyronix was barely able to do anything. The pressure was ridiculous. Very quick game for Lucretia. We're going to take go, move on to game three now. So clearly, uh, out of the either one, uh, even after switching characters, Kairos has been struggling to make some kind of advantage on Lucretia. I'm not sure what it would take for him to be able to turn this around. Lucretia just seems to have him like in the palm of his hand. Will he change characters again, or will he think he... Going to Battlefield this time. Let's see if Kyronix can turn it around reasonably. Starts off relatively solid, getting that 20% straight away, but the string's not going to last very long and the pressure is going to escape from it. Cool. Let's go shield slightly too early and the pressure gets that nice snare on. But Times that, times that side B as well quite decently, so the pressure gets hit by the last hit. The, the Kairos has much more of a momentum this time. He's, uh, this could shift just like that. Ooh, Kyronix waits a little bit before getting Gout, just so that uh, the pressure can't get that free up tilt. Going deep, he's not going to get anything for it though. And now just, just like that. That fatal mistake on Kyronix is going to cost him a whole stock for it. But luckily, he's not too far behind with the pressure at 120%. That back is not going to take it with no rage, I guess. Looking for that, look at that down air there. Not going to get anything for it. Back throw. Going in deep. See, unfortunately, Rob has such this, like... Ooh, forward smash going to take that first stock. So this game, you know, generally Lucrecio can afford to go as deep as he wants because Rob has that has that incredible recovery. But unfortunately, the Lucrecio, Lucina doesn't really have that. So even though Kyronis is trying to go deep, he's not really get, having much luck with it. I think that's it. The stock, oh, unfortunate early start from from Kyronix. It's going to put him at quite the deficit. This is looking like the end for him. He's going to have to go to lose. He may have to go to lose his side. But we can see people people have come back from bigger things before. Karras is... Ooh, go for that. Karras is taking the pits. He's going all the way to the other side, just like that. 
That gyro is so annoying, it's, gonna, it's not going to let him stand properly. Whiffs the grab, gets grabbed himself. He's going deep again, but still can't find anything for him. Four throw, going deep. Oh, and Lucretio is just going to take it. 3-0. Oh. 